Hey everyone, my name is Tori, and I'm going to be walking you through a basic user training on the Vaspian phone system. I'm demonstrating on the Mitel 6930, but you will find that the other phones in this series function similarly. You can find all the links mentioned in this video below. To start off, we are going to walk through the different buttons on the phone. This is the navigation path. You can scroll up and down, or left and right, depending on the menu and then you can use the middle button to select. Over here, we have the contacts key. Under contacts, you have personal, mobile, and corporate. Corporate is a complete listing of the company directory, so that'll include all the extensions on the phone system. Mobile is going to be if you chose to sync your cell phone's contacts with your office phone. For instructions on how to do that, please reach out to one of our support staff. And then you have personal. You can add contacts directly to your work phone by hitting add new here, or you can add them through your call history. To search through your contacts, you're going to scroll up until you're in the search bar up here, and then you'll start typing out the name of the person or the extension that you're looking for. It'll give you all the options available and then you can scroll down to the select to the correct one. Once it's selected, you're going to hit dial here and it'll call into that line for you. Underneath that, we have your call history. Call history is going to include missed calls, outgoing calls, and received calls. Each of those categories will show you your 20 most recent calls. I am doing test one, so I don't have any received, but if I go back up to outgoing, I can see all the outgoing calls I made and I can scroll through. When I'm scrolling through the list, I can choose to dial back a number or I can add that number to my contact list. Beneath that, you have the voicemail key. If you need instructions on how to set up your voicemail initially, please give a call into the support staff. Once it's set up, you'll hit this button and then it'll ask if you're calling from your own phone. If you're not, you can hit star to access a different extension's voicemail. You would just type out the extension and then the pin and hit pound. If you are calling from your own phone to access your voicemail, you simply have to just put in your pin and hit pound. Beneath that is your settings key. Settings key is where advanced troubleshooting happens or things like the Bluetooth pairing that was discussed moments ago. Underneath that, you're going to have your volume key. You have your volume up to the right, volume down to the left. To change the ring volume, you must adjust the buttons while your phone is ringing. To change the call volume, you must be on a call. Please note if you try to set the volume to the max, it will reset once the call is ended as a hearing safety precaution. Over here is the end key. You can use it to end a call or to exit a menu without saving. This is the redial button. You can use this to pull up the call history and dial a past call. This is the hold button. That's what you use to place a live call on hold. And then we have the mute button down here. You can mute both speakerphone calls or handset headset calls with this button. You hit it once and the little orange light will light up over here. That means that you're currently muted. And then you'll hit it a second time to take the mute off. The final button down here is going to allow you to toggle between your handset and your heads or your handset and your speakerphone. So you would hit it once to put it on speaker if you've already had your handset removed from the cradle. And then to remove it from speakerphone, you simply have to hit the button again and it'll take it off for you. So that's the basics on the buttons on the phone. The first thing you want to do when you're going to make a call is you want to access a line. So I can simply hit one of my line appearances here, and you can hear I've dialed home. 
or I can pick the handset up off the cradle to get dial tone as well. Once you have dial tone, you have to let the system know whether you're trying to access an external line or if you're trying to call in an internal extension. If you're dialing an extension, you can just type out the extension, but if you want to call externally, you have to use a dial out digit. We use eight on our system. Um, some people may use nine. If you have questions about which to use, just give us a call and we'll be able to walk you through that. So I'm gonna dial eight, and then I'm gonna make a local call, so I only have to do seven digits. So I'm gonna do eight, and then I'm gonna do the seven digit phone, eight, and then the seven digit phone number, and it'll start ringing through. Thanks for calling the weather. Now that it's picked up, you'll see that I have a couple different options down here. I have transfer, conference, and end. If I want to transfer, I can simply hit the transfer button. And it'll, these options down here are going to change again. So now I can choose to transfer it to a voicemail if I would like to, or I can cancel the transfer. If I cancel the transfer, I will still have that initial call. I don't have to worry that that will get lost. Um, you can choose to transfer to an extension. So I could just type in an extension here. And now it's calling into that other extension that I was calling. With that, once this call's picked up, you'll see that this transfer button will complete it. And now, I, now I've transferred that call out to that extension. I can also choose to transfer to an external line or I can conference calls. So if I go to conference calls, I'm going to wait until this picks up again. And I'm going to hit this button right here. And similar to the transfer, it'll open up a secondary line. I would type in the phone number or the extension that I want to conference with. And then I can hit the conference button to make it a three-way call. Having to go on without me. Mine was terrible. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed my business. Just one question. So that's making, transferring, and conferencing calls. Get the help. I do have a couple additional buttons that I programmed up here on my favorites keys. So I made a forward to button, an intercom button, a park and retrieve, and a do not disturb. Park and retrieve will allow you to place a call on hold on the system, which means that any other phone on your phone system will be able to retrieve that call by just hitting that button from their phone. Do not disturb has two functions. So if you turn on do not disturb right now, you'll see it turns red and then you have the little minus sign here. That means that any call that comes in directly to my extension will go straight to my voicemail. If you hit this button when you're receiving a call, it'll automatically send that call to voicemail for you. With forwarding, you'll hit the button It'll ask you what phone number you want to forward to. You want to make sure that you use your dial out digit. And then you're going to type in the phone number. If it's local, you'll do the seven digits. If it's long distance, you want to make sure to do all 10. And then I'm going to hit enter here. It says forward on. And then I can tell that it's on because it's blue over here. Now to remove that, I will hit this button again and it'll say forward O dot dot dot. That is forward off. So I'm gonna hit that one more time. And now it says forward off. And it's back down to gray, so I know that it's no longer active. Beneath that, you have intercom. Intercom would allow me to speak directly through somebody else's speakerphone on the phone system. So I would hit that, and then I would be able to type in the extension. 
it beeps, and then you're able to talk, and it would be coming through that phone at that time. In a nutshell, those are the basics of the system. If you have any questions, as mentioned, please don't hesitate to call out and talk to our support staff.